Hi all, welcome to John's Bottle Making. Today we're carrying on with the Titanic, yes. We have 179, 180. Excellent, we'll be carrying on. Oops, let's pick her up. There we go. Yeah, we'll get some of these uh, low pressure, medium or high pressure um, parts into place today. It's looking absolutely brilliant. Once we get the last one in, we'll be able to properly check it then. Um, and hopefully everything will be configured correctly. It is working fine, uh, everything looks great, so yeah, fingers crossed. Let's keep going. Anyway, let's get on with stage 179. Okay, up in the magazine, we have stage 179, coming in issue 180, valve, column, cylinder base, piston, washer and screws. And here we have an excellent article, Nomadic, a famous tender. Um, I'll have to go to power fast to have a look because it's still there, oh it is there I should say, on display. Yeah, that looks cool. Where's the interior? Yeah, it's cracking read. This is another excellent read as well. Yeah, brilliant. And in the parts, we have the base for the medium pressure cylinder. So we have 179A, valve 3 times 2, then we have cylinder base 2, drill columns times 2, piston, washers times 3, FM, JM, XM screws. A bit similar to what we did before, but we have got a replacement part for 179B. I'll show you that. There we go. Pop all that into place. These are different. There we go. And that is what we're left with. Excellent. This is the replacement part. There we go. Uh, and those are the original parts. I've not unboxed them yet. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Okay, up, let's get the parts out. Well, there we go, those are the parts. This is the original. Uh, the only difference I can see at the moment is the... Yeah, you see how they're raised and they're flat. There we go, that's better. So that's the original. That's the replacement. Pop that to one side. All right, before we bring the engine over, we need to pop these two pieces in place. 179C, again just like previous, it has a flat edge, that will go there, and we do need XM screws for these. Okay, let's get the first XM screw into this column, get a little bit of oil on that screw. Excellent stuff. Okay, now I'll position the engine, what I need to do is to pop this piece that we just put them two columns on all that like that that should position itself there just like that there's four uh, lugs on that base let's keep that firmly in place like that right now we need two XM screws let's keep that in place there we go let's turn these up a little bit more Quarter of a turn. There we go. Bigger screwdriver. Excellent. Okay, now we need 179D. There's a shallow recess and a deeper one. The shallow recess um, goes there. That is on uh, 169B. And we need a washer in there and a JM screw. Pop the washer there. Oops, there's a pop the washer in there <laughs> to get the JM screws out. Okay, up, let's get the JM screw into here and secure 179D. Excellent. Now we need two 179A. There we go. Fit them with the deep recess on the top because we put washers in them. And then we'll fix them in place with FM screws. So there's the washer into the and one into the. Now we need two FM screws now. There we go. Excellent. Right. There we go. That's working perfect, brilliant. So that is uh, stage 179 complete. That is the base of a medium pressure cylinder. Excellent, let's move on to stage 180. 
Okay, now, now we have stage one hundred and eighty. Coming in issue hundred and eighty one. Pistons, cylinder base, plate, pin washer, valves, reversing rods, drill column, small drill column, cotton bud, lubricating grease, assorted screws. Excellent. And here we have Bremen and Europa, symbols of rebirth. This is brilliant read as well. Germany's defeat in World War One, so I'm going to uh, create these two liners. I think the first one was it Bremen? I think it was Bremen, yeah. They got the blue ribbon on the westbound crossing and actually got it coming back as well. Uh, Europa, they were supposed to go together, but um, there's a fire on Europa. That's the interior, which meant Europa couldn't partake in the race. Hey, even other. <laughs> there we go. Um, that was for use for um, mail, delivering mail before they got to America. And a lot more lifeboats as well. And in the parts we have base for a high pressure cylinder. We have valve, uh, 180A valve for 180B drill columns times two, 180C cylinder base, and 180D piston, 180E washers times two, XMPM KM screws. Bit similar to what we've already done actually. Yeah, but it's mass again these um, parts into place. And then yeah, we're moving on. That is completed work. Another cell in the base has been fitted to the model. There are the parts. Let's get on with the build. Okay, no, let's get the parts out. Okay, no, those are the parts. So we need the XM screws. Um, put these two columns into place again. There is a flat edge just like previous. That will go there like that. And the other will go opposite. If I own that screw. There we go. Now let's bring the engine over. All right, now we got the engine over. That's a pop in this. That crankshaft goes there. That piston goes there. Is that a crankshaft? Well, piston. It's on that rock arm anyway. Again, there are uh, um, four pegs, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we fix this in place with uh, XM screws. There we go. Get that over like that. There we go. Can't go wrong. We need two XM screws now, one here and one here. Excellent, that's looking cool. Okay, next, take the valve 180A note that it has an oval recess on one side and a circular recess on the other side. Fit it over the connector rod 166A with the oval recess facing downwards so that it fits over the oval shape of part 166A. Then fit a washer 180E in the recess in the top of part 180A and fix in place with a FM screw. Okay, now we'll tighten that up with a larger screwdriver. There we go, excellent. Step four, position the piston 180D on the piston rod 169B. Note that there are recesses in the centre of each side of the piston and the deepest recess faces upwards. Excellent. There we go. Yeah, that's 169B. And we pop that on top of 180D. Put the washer down the middle and we can screw that in place with a JM screw. There we go, that's another cylinder base packed into place. There we go. We need to lubricate this yet as well. Brilliant, everything's working fine. Excellent stuff. So there we go, like something 7980 completed. So there we go, folks. That's uh, two more cylinder bases fitted. Whoa, beautiful, this. Excellent stuff. They don't, make things, they don't make engines like this anymore, do they? Yeah, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Right, just got another 10, yeah, another 10 stages, and then it's complete. Uh, another cylinder base here, um, and I'm not sure if we're putting 
what we do after that. I know we've got a lot of grease in to do in the next one as well. Uh, they give us some a pot of grease, but uh, so long as it's working as it is, yeah, I know I've got it configured correctly. Excellent stuff. There we go. Well, that's it for the Titanic today. Uh, I'll get the next one up in a couple of days' time. Um, just have to see what's on the agenda. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in and watching. Stay safe. Uh, bye for now.